Oh my goodness me! Hang on, we're tangled up the power cord. Do myself an injury. How is that all tangled up? Did you do this? Tangle all this up together? Oh, there we go. Oh, shit! Right. Oh, that's... Anyway, we've got all snazzy here at the Bush Bee Farm. We've all got ourselves a nine frame extractor now, which is, um, but it's on the angle. Because they're having a sale at the, at the blooming I Woo Hoo website. They're selling these things for half price, so the bloke thought, well, stuff it, might get one since our other extractor's a bit more domesticated. Mind you, being that our honey flow's all a bit dodgy ass, we probably wouldn't have to worry, but decisions were made before the honey flow was discovered. But so here we are, anyway, we're going to put this together. Put our tent back up and have a bit of a crack at making some honeycomb. No, not honeycomb. Have a bit of a crack at making some honey. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering about these bit of few old shirts I got laying around here, this is the wardrobe department. <laughs> so it's it's been it's been um, superseded, as you can see. Look at this. I've even got a shirt that's only got one stain on it. I'm doing really well. <laughs> What's that, what's that Beatles? No, I can't sing songs, can I? I was just going to sing that song, Here Comes the Sun. <laughs> but no, I'm not allowed to because it's not allowed to sing. No, there'll be no singing. Even though it's debatable of what I was doing, whether that was singing anyway. Well, a bit more bloody substantial legs. Honey to drain. Oh, this has been sitting here for a couple of days. <laughs> Do my box any good? Ugh. I was just thinking I need this. What do you reckon? I reckon that's me. I'm a little bit fragile. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's right. That's another thing we must try out. Oh, I was checking this out. This is some new bee base that they was had on there as well. I don't know how that's going to work, but anyway, that's another video. I digress. Onward with what we're actually doing. I'll just pop this in the shed in a safe place and perhaps I'll find it another day. <laughs> don't run away! <laughs> oh, see, look at that. That looks a bit more substantial, doesn't it? What do you do? It's even got a cute little bee on it. What does this say? Caution. Careful power before opening. What? Careful power before opening. What? <laughs> Am I allowed to comment on that? Yes. <laughs> yes. I reckon my English teacher would have enjoyed this because that's about how I used to write my stuff up. The other one is don't open before basket inside stop turning. So they just skip over the skip over the unimportant parts. I like that. It's just like to the point. <sighs> I wonder what my English teacher would think about that. <laughs> She'd probably go that we're in the same class together. Oh my goodness me. I don't know that I want to rip it open too badly. Let's see if I can get it out. If we can keep the box in some semblance of order, then we can slip it back over the top. How, how heavy is it going to be? Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> would you like some help? Yes, are we going to borrow your muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Fear not all you faithful followers. There's an instruction guide at the bottom of the box. We're all safe. We're fully proofed. Oh, 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 let's have a look in here. Jeez. I'm gonna have to go and get my glasses, but anyway. Turn the machine on using the black on off button. Well, that'd be a good idea. There is an emergency stop button, which I saw already. From the home screen, you can choose seven pre-programmed models. Eight and nine may be programmed by you. You'd probably just use theirs, wouldn't you? To select the start, start on auto. Well, this all sounds very snazzy. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're probably better off just to use it and make it up as we go, do you think? Doesn't sound real complicated. Self-explanatory, I reckon they should put on there. Actually, we're safe though, because it doesn't say easy to construct, so we should be all good. <laughs> Right, I reckon these are the little locks for the legs. Whee! Whee! Look at that. This'll be fun. I'm guessing we'll have to mount this on a pallet too so we can keep it a bit sturdy eyes. Otherwise it'll be hopping across the floor and we'll be trying to catch it with a lasso. <laughs> oh, 
could that be? Lasso, honey. <laughs> oh, dear. That's a terrible joke. All right, our legs. How many legs have we got? Three? Hmm. Okay, three legs. Fair enough. That doesn't look like a knife, but anyway, any crocodile dundee. Oh, it's not a knife. That's a fucking paint scraper, you idiot. <laughs> right. Okay, then, we've even got rubber stoppers, that's kind of cool. I'm assuming we got to maybe do that. Does that go down? Does it come off of there or what? It's a story. I would say it has to do that. like that. Maybe we won't need to sit this one on the pallet. Oh, come on. What are we doing? Dun, 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 I'm going to have to go find a spanner that fits. Mmm. <laughs> How tight do you reckon you have to make? Tight enough. <laughs> so I've done round of bits. Thanks all you guys out there in internet land for buying some honey and some honeycomb and different other cool products that we have on our website. Helps us finance buying some new gear and getting organised. It's bloody awesome. So I'd be tipping that this is our screwing the leg part on, and I'm assuming that's the lock nut bit. I mean, there's nothing much else for it to be. We'll look at the picture. <laughs> Kill. Oh, well this construction's looking a Oh, shit, I nearly dropped it. <laughs> this construction's looking a bit more substantial. Hell, if we're not careful, we might even be able to keep up supply with our little boutique honey business that we're building. Thank you all you troopers. There's a bit more substantial tapping. Oh, wash it up and then that'll be good. I wonder if they go that way around or that way around. I think they'd go that way around to stop it spinning. And the teeth would cut in. Would that be right? I think. Someone will probably ride in and tell me which way around them washers are meant to go. Oh, golly. It's a bit like, I don't know. The bloke from the flow hive dudes rang me up saying, oh, you've got to adjust your frame, so we might have to go and have a look at that soon one day. I'm chiefly trying not to break our little turny off button. Because that's fun. Like... <sighs> Probably says somewhere, warranty void if you break that. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Larsley, behave. Oh, don't be that hard to just get... <laughs> Oh, why is it that the last one never wants to behave itself? Did you see where that other washer went? <laughs> Damn it! Here, just roll the film back and tell me where it went. Make yourself useful, young fella. Bloody hell! Ah, oh, there it is. See? Ta da! <laughs> Far out. <sighs> Oh, you wouldn't think it would be so complicated. Yeah, I was thinking the set fact that it didn't say it was easy it would be all good. This is you we're talking about. Yeah, that's true enough. Okay. Ta da! <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? <sighs> Shaving a drum of honey. No. <laughs> so what's that shaving a haircut? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to come up with my own thing, wouldn't I? Oh, pot of honey. What's that? What's that bear's name that likes honey? Oh, here we go! Oh. Believe I think this extractor is designed for tall people like me lad. Good grief. Ah, yeah. I'll have to stand on a box. <laughs> I guess that's so we can get our bucket under there, but... Where is the bucket? This is not the bucket we're going to use, but we'll try it. <laughs> oh, well, they probably measured a 20 litre bucket. You know what's going to happen now. Bloke's gonna have to make a bloomin' platform to stand on. So he can actually get up there. 
Well, I better idea. I'll just let the tall man do it. So. <laughs> Far out. Anyway, there we go. Shall we plug it in? And make sure it spins before we get too excited. This is definitely looking a little bit more industrial, isn't it? It's even got an emergency stop button if I screw shit up. <laughs> Help me, help me. Right. A bit of power would be good. <sighs> be fun with a treadle machine, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, the screen's on, that's a good start. Inverter is ready. Inverter controller. Model zero. Model zero. Up one. Model. Thing. <laughs> Model 3 Pre programmed option. Shouldn't that be, um, like model that's not anyway? So, start, start. Nope. <laughs> Manual auto. What's that say? Start. Go. Oh, over here. Oh, that's stop, you idiot. Wee! No, but they panic. It's all good. <laughs> Looks a little bit like a ride you'd go on at the show. Shouldn't that be um, programmed, not model? I don't suppose it matters. <laughs> we'll know what it means. Oh, you have a the wheel, don't you? I suppose if you open that door, it'll stop. That's pretty groovy. You reckon this is actually going to work? So they're going... Oh, it's counting down here. Check that out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blah, 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 blah. Next three. You going to go backwards or what are you going to do? Yep, going to go the other way. How are we going to know which one to pick? <laughs> when it goes the fastest, maybe. Well, that looks pretty good so far. I mean, it's running quite nicely without any frames in there, but next thing you know, we're going to have some honey in here and we'll see what's going on. I think we might just give it a bit of a clean before we get to that point. And uh, away we go. Honey coming to you before you know it.